Howdy y'all, Mr. Kajic here from beautiful Atascacita, Texas, and bringing you another homework helper in chemistry. And today we're going to talk about reaction predictions, and so you better get your periodic table, get your polyatomic ion chart, get your solubility rules, and let's get started. I'm going to make a few assumptions. One, that you're familiar with periodic table. Two, you can recognize polyatomic ions. I'm going to assume you know the solubility rules and you understand oxidation charges. And of course, if you don't know any of these or if you have any problems, check my YouTube channel for these videos. All right, the problem. Complete and balance this reaction and determine if there's a precipitate formed. And so we have magnesium sulfate combining with potassium phosphate, and they're both aqueous, which means they're dissolved in water, and we need to check and see what are the products they're going to make, and then we're going to balance it and see if a precipitate was uh, produced. So the first thing we want to do is predict our products and pr produce a plan. So one, let's write out the ions in the reactants. Two, let's predict the products and write the formulas. Three, we'll balance the reaction. And then four, we'll check for the precipitates using the solubility rules. So to the blackboard. First thing I'm going to do is get my polyatomic ion uh, sheet. And I'm going to look for the polyatomic ions. And the first one is SO4. And I'll note that that has a negative two charge. And so that means then that uh, the manganese must have a plus two charge and we're going to have an MN2 plus and a sulfate two minus. Then we have phosphate ion and the phosphate ion, the phosphate has a minus three charge and so then uh, potassium must have a plus one charge because we do have three of them. That should all balance out. Charges look good. Moles look good. And we can compare or we'll swap partners here. Manganese will go with phosphate. And remember now the charges have to balance in the compound. So uh, we have manganese 3 and phosphate 2. Then we'll have the potassium pair up with the sulfate. And so then we'll have K2SO4. And we'll balance out the uh, uh, moles in a minute. And let's rewrite things and balance. There's our equation, there's our reactants and our products. Now we note that uh, we need to start with the manganese there, and there's three manganese. So I need to go over here and put three manganese on the left-hand side, but remember you can only change the coefficients. Once you have made the formulas, you can't change those, otherwise you change the compound. However, I can put a three right there and show that we have three moles of manganese sulfate. And then we'll look over here, that gives us three sulfate. So now we'll go over and put a three in front of the potassium sulfate. That now gives us six potassium. So I need to go over and put a two, and two times three is six on the potassium, which means that I have two phosphate. And of course, if we look on the right-hand side, boom, there's two phosphate. All right, so now it's balanced. Now let's check for precipitate. That's going to require our rules here. Let's go over and look at our rule. And if you look at rule number eight, rule number eight shows us that phosphates, as a general rule, are insoluble. And it just so happens that uh, manganese phosphate would be insoluble. So that's going to be a solid, and it's going to precipitate out. And then if you look at rule number one, uh, potassium sulfate is going to be soluble because all alkali metals are soluble and rule number one pretty much overrides all the other rules. That's going to be aqueous and we have now gone through and we have found the precipitates, we've balanced it and we've made a prediction on the products. So recap, you determined the ions, you predicted the products, you found the precipitate and you balance the equation. Good job. Remember, if you have any questions, send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com. 
check out uh, Mr. Kazi's world.com or Mr. Kazi.com for uh, videos and much, much more. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. You'll get all kinds of great information there. Happy eyes, everyone.